Hello everybody, it is Isla Thing the Review here, back with another review. Uh, just got a quick little update, kind of, following the s'mores, s'mores review I did last week. Uh, this one actually came out before, but I'm finally getting to it. So, what we got here is the Cup Noodles Everything Bagel, uh, with cream cheese ramen noodles. So this is another limited edition. Came out a while ago, but just, you know, like I said, didn't get a chance to get to it till now. And I really want to eat it, so that's what we're going to do. So, same as usual, you got the same kind of packaging, got the nutrition facts there, and just some more of the ingredients, and the instructions, of course it's the microwave directions again, but I'm going to just boil up some water, and let it set for 3-4 minutes, kind of same as usual. So yeah, that's pretty much it there. Opening up top, we've got, I'm not going to open it all the way so I can let it steep. So I believe what everyone's been saying is the, there are some black spots in here. These are caraway seeds. And I guess that's maybe cream cheese powder. I guess we can go with that maybe to make it creamy. But, you know, curious to see how it tastes. Um, essentially, if you never heard of it, everything bagel is kind of based on seasoning that's used on bagels. I got this from Costco here. And let me actually get that in focus. So yeah, this is the everything bagel seasoning and you know, it's got a lot of different things in there if we kind of just check out inside there for a picture and what's in this one is, let's see, let me get the little shine off. So it's got sesame seeds, salt, dehydrated garlic and onion, uh, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds. So, and they can always vary between different companies. So, you know, you kind of just, you can get variety, but for it in general, that's kind of what it's going to be in. It's kind of be what it is. So I'm going to see what it's, how close it is to it. And from there, I'll give it a rating. I'm through five. So hang tight. I'm going to get some boiling water and I'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, got the water. Again, the fill line is pretty much just above where the seasonings are. So I'm just going to pour that in. Right there. Just get a lid on and I'll be back in three minutes. Alrighty, y'all, it's been about four minutes now, so it's all soaked in. Uh, just to kind of give you a quick view. So, yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, just essentially kind of a matte white sauce. Smells okay. I am getting a few notes of the everything seasoning. So that's not too bad. But again, ah, well, I guess there's an okay amount of sauce. Just my first impressions. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and give this a shot and what I think. But yeah, smells, it, it actually does smell like everything season, so I'll give it that, but let's see how this is. It, it almost just tastes like bagel seasoning, to be honest. It's almost, I'm not getting much of a cream cheese note. There's like hints of it. You can definitely tell it's not just regular broth, but it's okay, but I don't know. It's just meh, just first bite. Yeah, a little bit more, the more sauce you get on it, the more you can get some of that cream cheese goodness, but the seeds, it's not too overpowering, so yeah, this one's kind of weird. Not in a bad way, but just, it's just here again. It is a little bit different than just kind of eating chicken or beef uh, cup noodles all the time, so I'll give it that. But it almost seems like they should have gone further into making it more cream cheese. And of course, you know, it's shelf stable product. There's only so much you can do to actually get, actually get that cream cheese. You know, aside from what, maybe add more, more powder, which might not have been the best result, but maybe more seeds, maybe more variety of seeds. Um, yeah, so, oh, so there's a little. Um, onion powder, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, some good old silicon dioxide, um, dried minced garlic, dried onion flake, egg white. So I mean, the, 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 the ingredients are there, but just, 
it's almost muted in a way. Maybe the cream cheese is doing that. But yeah, I'll give it that. There, there's a hint of that every, I can get, I get the idea. It's definitely there. It just needs like more to push it forward to like get going. I could actually see, I could actually see myself eating this again. Um, and I think I got like three more of them, so I have to, but it's good, but it's just, oh, I, I feel bad. Like you, you would almost want to make a more of a bagel. Like put some grab locks in here. Some, actually I got some capers, so I might jazz this up in a minute. So yeah, it just, it needs a little punch more. So this may be something where you have to jazz it up, but as a foundation, it might be good. So um, if I had to give it a rating, I would give it a three out of five. Um, again, it's not bad by any means. I can definitely eat this, no problem, but um, it's just missing that something to take it to the next step. But yeah, I like it. So I'm actually gonna have someone else try it really quick and see what they think about it and kind of just get their take on it. But yeah, just hang tight and we'll go from there. Little try, so. Jeez. It's underwhelming. Oh wow. It's not, you know what? Maybe because I've never had an everything bagel. Right. But I would think, I was expecting something more like hit my mouth yeah. flavoring. I didn't get that from this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that's my opinion. Could you eat another one? Could you even eat that or finish it? I mean, it? I like, could eat it, but it wouldn't be as fulfilling because it's not flavorful to me. It's very, it's, 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 it's kind of bland. Mm. But it's, I still, I taste some flavor, but it's not as, I thought it, I would hit, it'd be hit. Like, you know when, you eat, when you've eaten the chicken noodle soup, you immediately taste the flavor? Yeah. It's kind of underwhelming to me. Okay. Actually, before I go, I'm going to actually add some more junk to it. So hang tight. I'm going to throw more stuff in there. All right. All righty, y'all. So just added some, a ton of everything, seasoning and some capers. I'm trying not to go too hard on the capers too soon. Don't want it to overpower, but I will say it smells so much better. Um, there's definitely a scent. There's definitely everything bagel smell to the seasoning. So it's already kind of like more appetizing there. It's more intense. So now I'm going to definitely see way more things on there, which I think was missing. You know, you say everything ramen, but there, you can't even see everything on the um, on the ramen like you would on a bagel. There's a ton of stuff on there. So hope it's not too much and I'll give it a shot here. Mm. Oh yeah, that's much better. Unfortunately, I don't have any cream cheese on pan, um, so I can't add that. I would if I could, uh, but maybe if I do a butt better series, you know, some Joshua Weissman style video, um, I'll kind of make this a better version. But yeah, that definitely improves it. Yeah, again, guys, let me know what you think. Um, cool little hack though, if you do want to make it a little bit more intense, but I do like it more this way. There's more stuff that'll get on your face and lips though, but that's cool. And I will see you guys. Now I taste something. Yeah. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. It's way better. Yeah. So again, you know, cost saving is, I think I only got them for a dollar, hell. But yeah, it's a start. I agree, it's good. <laughs> I'm finishing with the whole cup right now. All right, there you go, she, she must stole my around. <laughs> All right, folks, the dumb ideas keep coming again. You thought this was the end of the video for the second time? Nope, saw some old junk in my fridge. So they said everything, so I'm putting everything in here. So I got a little piece of salmon, um, throw that in there and take another bite again because we ain't letting it over. I think this is the last of the limited edition series. So going out with a bang. All right, hang tight. All right, y'all back again. Uh, just finished up with the salmon. Just cut up some slices there, threw them in here. And if you can kind of see, got some big old chunks in there. So let's break it down a little bit. Just make it a little smaller. All right, so yeah, now we got some little pieces in there, so. I actually need to get it a little closer. So, there we go. Mm. That actually makes it better, but it also does make it pretty salty. I think at this point it would need the cream cheese to balance it out though, but it's actually still pretty good. Or if I would even say like if there was just a little bit more sauce left because it's pretty low. But yeah, that definitely, gets it closer to like a grab lox bagel sandwich you get in the morning or if you go to New York and get one of those in the morning. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Or uh, American, Great American Bagel. Hell, go there. Where else is 
sorry, add flavor. <laughs> so yeah, it is a bit salty. Yeah. I know how to go salt. Yep. But if it was less salt, it'd be better. But that's the punch. There's the punch. <laughs> right. So it's a little extra, but it's there now. Yep. All right, so I think that's all the ingredients I got to do. Throw some extra papers in there so that also hurt it too, but. Yeah, just final, final, final question for you guys. Um, if you ever had to, you know, add hacks to your cup noodles, what have you added to it to make them better? Um, you know, more syrup in the breakfast ramen, more chicken bouillon, better than bouillon in the chicken cup noodles. Let me hear you guys uh, hacks, and maybe if I hear something good enough, I might try it. So, for real this time, later.